Hey everybody, it's Sharon here from Content Sparks, and in this video, I'm going to show you a cool feature in Canva for quickly creating in bulk social media images using some social media posts that you already have or you get inside our courses and other packages from Content Sparks. So first, I'm going to hop over to my screen and show you exactly how to do it. Here you can see I'm right on Canva. And we're going to create an Instagram post, let's say. So the first thing you want to do is open it up. I'll open up a blank one and find something around online courses because I'm going to show you how to use the ones that come with our online course content planner. This is a brandable, editable planner that you get in Canva and PowerPoint, but you also get in a spreadsheet a whole bunch of social media posts that look like this. So I think there are 20 here. We've got a column for the posts. And then for this particular version, brand new social media posts, we've given you also a space to put in the URL. I've pre-filled it with ours, but you would just replace it with your own URL for where you want to send people from social media. You want to have this on your images. So I'm going to close that again and go back over to Canva. And because it's about online courses, I'm going to look up online course to look for templates in Canva. That's in the design tab. And you can see there are a few. The ones that have a little pro next to them are not going to be paid. And they're not going to be free ones. Those you would have to pay for. So if you have a paid account already for Canva, those will be included. But you want to look for something preferably that has a graphic rather than an image. Otherwise, you end up having to change the images, which we do on, the, on many of the ones we give you. But you want to make it even faster. So here's one with a graphic. I'm going to pick that. Now, now the posts only have text in them, so I'm going to delete all this other stuff and customize it so that I have a template for this particular set of social media posts. I'm also going to need to make this bigger because I know that I have a decent amount of text. I want to change it to my font. Let's make it bold, but make it lower. I want it left aligned. Now I'm going to need more space, so I will make this. Let's see how 32 looks. That's a little small. What about 42? I think that would work, but I also want a space to put my URL and still have that image. So I'm going to have to make this image smaller. It seems to already be grouped together, a bunch of elements. So I'm going to move that down and delete that. And then I'm going to have to ungroup it because they have put it into a group. So you can see something pops up that says ungroup. And now you can see there's a few different elements in this graphic they did. So that I'm going to try leaving the same. You can always adjust your template and regenerate. Let's see how that is. And then I also need a box for my URL. So I'll copy this and move it down so that there's hopefully room under whatever the quote is. And let's make that smaller because I don't think it needs to be quite as big. The other thing I want is my logo on here. So I have a brand kit here because I have a paid Canva account that has all my logos in it already. So I can just click on that. Or otherwise, you have to upload the image and I'll make it a little bit smaller. Let's see how that works out when I want to bulk create, because as I said, this is a template and you're going to create all your images at once using this template. First thing you need to do is go over to bulk create. If that isn't showing, there's uh, usually a box somewhere that says apps and you may have to find it. So I'm going to click on bulk create and you could upload a CSV file with everything, but I'm going to enter the data manually and you'll see you can add multiple columns. It depends how many things you want to connect. I'm going to clear the table. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put in the text for the quote. So I'm just going to call that text. And I'm going to go back over to my spreadsheet, copy all of these little tips. I want to call control C to copy it and go back to my tab and paste that in. Now it's all there. All right. So I have 20. Now I also want another column of text for that URL. 
So I'll go back again to my spreadsheet and go up and copy the URLs. Even if they're the same for every single quote, you have to have it in there. So let's go back to the tab again and place it in. So now I have all the text in there ready to go on the images. I click done and I'm ready to start connecting everything. So you need to connect the box to the text that you want in there. Click on it. This is where we're putting that text. I click on the three dots just above. Connect data, which is kind of in the middle here. And then I called that text. So it gives you the fields. So now when it generates, all the text from those social posts will go in here. But I also want the URL. So I'm going to connect that to the URL field. And now we are ready to generate the images. And again, if it doesn't work out straight away, you can adjust the template and redo it. Nothing's going to disappear. So I'm going to click continue over on the left at the bottom. It shows me all the data it's going to apply. And I click generate 20 designs. I'm going to open up a new tab. I'll want to name this. And you can see that, you know what, I need to pull this particular thing down a bit. Rather than going through and having to do that on every single one of these images, I'll just generate a new set. And I do want to title it so you don't lose it. So I'm going to call this Demo of uh, Bulk Social Graphics Creation. How's that? Now, we had seen that this was a little too high, so I'm going to move that down. Maybe make this a little bit smaller. And this a little bit smaller to give it more space. And I think that should work. Let's give it a go again. So that's all I had to do. And I can just generate again, generate the 20 designs. And that's a lot better. If most of them are okay, you could just go in and adjust them individually. It looks like you might want to tweak a few, maybe put that one up a little. But in general, most of them look okay. So I think I'll leave that template for now because I want to show you one more thing. And that is that you can, with a design like this, change the colors for each one for a little more variety. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm on the first one. And when you're in that design tab, you can click on styles. If you have a paid account and you have your brand colors set up, you'll see them at the top here and you can use those. Or you can pick some of these other ones. There's all sorts of palettes and it will shuffle through the different ones. So using my brand palette, I can click on it and it will change the design and colors, that one doesn't work, of each one as you go through. So you can play around with that. So that's one, my logo doesn't look great there, so I'd end up having to change that. But I can pretty quickly go through and change different designs. So here's another one, I can click again, shuffle through, that just changed it a little bit. Looks like I forgot to get rid of some text in the template. So again, you're going to want to check that all out before you go and generate or just go generate again. So check that all. And here's another one I could just shuffle through. Let's see what else I could do. There's a different look to it. And then you just keep on going. Or you could pick one of their pre-designed color palettes. So something like this is going to give you a different look and you would just go through and pick it and do whatever you want on those. See, it changed also the font here because I used one of their combinations. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Go ahead and play with that. I definitely recommend that you set up your own template first. So that was just where you have the one slide and you set up however it looks best, do some tests and then give it a go with something like the social media posts that we give you. You can quickly do that, or you can generate some from something like ChatGPT and make sure you lay it out in the same way. Let me know if you have any questions.